Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're playing everyone's favorite new deck. This is Dredge with Lotless Giant and Dread Return. Lotless Giant ETBs and shoots your opponent for each creature card in your graveyard. Dredge Return can return it for free. And Stinkweed Imp dredges it into the graveyard along with most of your deck. You got Nod to the Bone to make a ton of life. And then a bunch of uh, simple creatures to start milling with. Plus a Fork Zoom package. So this deck is not the original version of the list, but the most recent version that's been doing well that I saw was Probuskas' uh, 12 land version, which is pretty light on lands in reality, but we've got eight of the land cyclers and four exhumes. So if you're looking to maybe quickly cycle and exhume, and then obviously just play the regular lot with giant shoot you game. In the sideboard, four Drown and Sorrow for go wide decks. Uh, three Coffin Purge here is for relic for uh, flicker decks or other decks that are using their graveyard. We've got Flaring Pain for Cogates, Ancient Grudge for Relic, and also like the Glitters decks, and then two Moments Piece. And Proboscis said that the Moments Piece are pretty much for burn to buy a little bit of time. So he gave me a little bit of sideboard information, so hopefully this will go a little bit more straightforward than normal leagues where I'm just taking a deck that I don't know into the game. But if you're interested in checking out the sideboard guides that I've created for the decks that I've made, or hadn't have been working on a lot, check out the Patreon. That's patreon.com slash calikais. Make sure to like and subscribe on this video. It gives me a lot of more visibility, helps me out a lot. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought about the deck. And check out Pondering Popper, which will be linked in the description below. That's the podcast that I've been doing. I'm trying to interview people about their decks as being deck experts, as well as get a lot of information on the Popper format. And without further ado, let's head into the matches. All right, we're here in round one. We're looking for enough lands to play the game. Okay, we have turn two Generous Ent off of an Exhume. The Dread Returns in hands aren't very good. Maybe the Generous End can carry? I'll try it. I'll pass the turn after playing a Swamp. Here we go. We don't have any of our two mana dr our creatures that put stuff at the graveyard. Okay, they're playing Okiba Reckoner Raid. I'm going to cycle my Generous End. So we're up against uh, Mono Black Burn. We should be pretty good if we can draw some lands because none of the bone is going to wreck them. Find a Branchwood Prowler. Let's just put the Generous Ent onto the table. Okay, they're going to ping us for one. Puts another Reckoner Raid into the, onto the table. So they don't have an Edict right now. Okay. So now I'm going to play the Prowler looking for land. Play the Prowler. No lands. Swing. Okay, we have the Stinkweed Imp that we can dredge. So that will come back to our hand. And then we can exhume the Prowler looking for a land, making us discard a card. I will discard Red Return. Or should I just discard the Lala Giant? Probably the Giant right now. The Vampires kiss us. I don't think we're dead next turn. I'm going to have to leave my cards back. I'm going to Stinkweed Imp. Okay. So now I can Scrap Work Mutt, discarding the Stinkweed Imp. Then draw, how many cards? One card. Or I can just exhume the Prowler. We have a Dread Return in the graveyard anyway. Let's cast Exhume. Returning this Seder Wave. Which one of these looks deeper? Top four cards. Okay, I want the Seder Wayfinder back. Grabbing Tap Land because it doesn't matter. Okay, play the Tap Land. And. I'll get in for five. We have five creature cards in the graveyard, so now I think I can just nod to the bone a couple times and they'll be dead, because that's 15 life right now. They play Side and Blood on themselves. I feel like we're in a really good position here. Maybe they post board, they're going to be bringing in like Nile Spell Bombs and stuff. They don't attack. Okay. Well, I can cycle a troll to get one more life, or one more uh, card in the graveyard anyway. Get a swamp, play the swamp, and not of the bone. Gain 18. 
and now I can attack. And I think next turn they're dead because we can just scrap work mutt back to Stinkweed Imp, and then uh, Dread Return the Law with Giant, and that will be it. <laughs> That's pretty easy, <laughs> pretty solid. Okay, what do you got? Five cards in hand. They're currently at nine. They're gonna swing out. Hmm. I'm not gonna block. We're at sixteen. They're gonna alms of the vein, putting us to twelve. Or them to twelve, us to thirteen. Any more cards? Four more cards in hand. They certainly have a lot to do. They deadly dispute sacrificing one of the blood tokens. But they still have two mana available. There's another Reckoner Raid putting us to 12 and them to 13. Uh, this seems like this is at the end of the turn, right? Uh, being in the next end step. Okay. So we're going to Scrap Work Mutt. Oh, I don't have any red mana. Take it all back. Um, I have the Dread Return here. I guess I first attack with everything. And then just go ahead and Dread Return the Giant. And you're dead. Bonk. Cool. You lead the match 1 0. Nice. We obviously want the knot of the bones. Let's check on the uh, little hot tips. Alright, so the plan here is to bring in the grudges and then cut some number of ac acorn harvest. Could also trim on the Dread Return Giant package for a couple Drown and Sorrow, but I don't know if that's actually even any, any good versus them. I mean, it's not like we needed the Acorn Harvest to go fast or go wide. They've got just the two twos. I don't think there are any other creatures that we care about. And we're going to get way ahead of those with the Knot of the Bones. So I think we're fine. Maybe we should just bring in four grudges. We'll see what happens this game. Okay, I've got this one gains life. I guess I'll just keep and play a tap land. This troll can get one of the red lands for the scrap work mutt. Okay, they play the Okiba. In no turn one, we're going to play a Haunted Mire. On its turn, goes to 22. Rated Scorpion. Okay. We will gain two life and mill two. Mire Triton enters the battlefield. We get scrap work mutt, Mire Triton in the graveyard. We can mutt away an Ancient Grudge, maybe. Probably have to cycle for the red land, though, for that. Oh, no. I can sec play it back for green. This Hopeless Nightmare. I guess I'll discard the Ancient Grudge. Deadly Dispute, their Serrated Scorpion. Okay. I guess that's good for me, because I was going to try to block that. So, they're playing around my Exhum, I guess. Hmm. Maybe I want to save the Exhum until later. Let's play this Seder Wayfinder. I'm trying to hit a dredger now, I think. Find a knot of the bone. Okay, no lands. I'm gonna hold up blocking here with the Mire Triton and the Seder Wayfinder. Find a dread return. They're getting in. I'll block and block. So I guess if they have a, gr a relic right now, it would be a problem for me. I can't cast it on the green. I, I can't grudge it right now. They sign in blood themselves. Plays Tyrant's Choice, okay. So we have to choose Torture. We're going to lose 4 life and go to 12. Let's cycle here for the Red Land. Play a Red Land. Go ahead and Knot of the Bone. So we're going to gain 18. Kind of tough for them to deal with. They're tapping 3 mana. Looks like they're going to Scry with a Hopeless Nightmare. They Deadly Dispute the Treasure Token. Plays a Hopeless Nightmare again. I guess I'll discard the Exhum. Friend's choice again. We lose four life again. It's happening. Okay, we're pretty close to just hard casting a troll, so I'm going to play this Prowler. Let's see if we can get a land. We find no lands. We do have the Lala Giant in the graveyard. Okay. We have double scrap work mutt right now. I'm just going to play this one out and not. Do anything. I'm not going to uh, discard. I should. I'm going to discard it. Find a lot of giant. Okay. We need a treasure. Play Sovereign's Bite. There's the relic. Dang it. Curses. 
Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is turn off my auto yields. Play my scrapwork mutt from the graveyard. Pick on a relic in response. I'm going to go ahead and grudge your land then. Okay. So I have not really uh, played this deck in a way of like trying to play around the relics. So this is really interesting to find out. I say your Wayfinder. We find a Swamp, Zoom, Prowler, Giant. We get the Swamp. Now I'm at 6 mana. Next, if I find another land, I can just hard cast the Giant for a few creatures. Wing it in. So then the non, the Scrap Over Mud Trigger goes on the stack, but doesn't do anything. Okay, they sacrifice the Hopeless Nightmare. I can make the Giant in one land. Just hard cast the Giant. They went top top on the Scries. Vampire's Kiss, we're at 13. They have two treasure tokens still. So we need, like, we can dredge return. Dread return. I dread return the Prowler or the Giant. Prowler can give me a land. I should probably just dread return the Giant. Put another big creature on the table. Hmm. I should probably dread return the Prowler, actually. Because getting the Prowler back, then I can. Sacrifice my creatures to get the other giant, and then maybe I can um, mill a nod of the bone. This uh, ridge line, generous ent in the graveyard. I can dread return the generous ent. Attack with everything. Dread return the generous ent. Attack these guys. Now I can just gain some life. All right. If four creature cards in the graveyard, so nod of the bone would be twelve life. And I have 7 power on the table, plus my Lotleth Giant coming back. Tyrant's Choice. Uh, we will vote Torture. We can deal them 11 damage this turn with the Giant plus the attack step. Their uh, Sovereign's biting us to 9. I'm feeling like they're, we're pretty close to dead. They kill the... Uh, kill my 6... my 5-7. Lame. Alright, let's just cast another one. Cast... All right, the big guy beat down. Here's two damage. We have five creature cards in the graveyard. Kind of funny that the relic didn't really matter here. They sacrifice the hopeless nightmare on upkeep so they can scry, and then they can see what they're going to draw. Given that they have zero cards in hand, they went bottom top, so they wanted one of the cards that they drew. Let's see what, they, what it was. Did the cast down? Vampires kiss us to seven. We can exhume. Uh, okay. Let's exhume. Get back to Generous Ent. Gain some life. Then gain some more life. And attack for 7. Pretty solid. Alright, they're at 14. We have enough to kill them next turn if they don't gain any life. We can get, deal them 12 damage. And then another 4, so we can deal them 16 damage from all of our stuff that we have. Okay, they're putting us to 9 with Torture on the Tyrant's Choice. They discarded a Swamp to the Blood Token. They have 0 cards in hand. Okay, um, I'm just going to hard cast this Lotleth Giant. And F6. Take your 4, take your 12, take your Beats. We win the game! Alright, on to round 2. Round 2 versus Mr. Apples. But you don't have any lands. Darn it. Mulligan. That's what happens. So we're playing a 12 land deck. We've gotten two no landers in a row. Pretty expected, I guess. We just need one land. Usually with 12 lands, you can find one. Okay, second mulligan. We have land, land. We can put back acorn harvest. Let's keep this. Back acorn harvest and giant. Or the Dread Return. So one of the things we put back is just going to be gone forever. Right? I feel like I want the Dread Return more than the Giant. They land past the turn. We're definitely hoping to find a land off the Wayfinder here. Opponent plays an Island. Find a Generous Ent. I play my Seder Wayfinder. If I can find something big, then I can Dread Return it. Next turn I can cycle the Generous Ent for a tap land. We, Okay, we're good. We are feeling good here. I'm going to Stinkweed Imp and uh, cycle the Generous End for the red. Oh no. 
or a black green land. The Thought Scour themselves for Architect, Cast Down, Thought Scour. So they're on blue black terror. Okay. They pass. We are going to draw the Stinkweed Imp in mill. Hmm. Um, first, I'm going to Forest Cycle. Play out my Haunted Mire so I can hard cast a Dread Return. Attack. One thing we can do is just keep casting Stinkweed Imps. <laughs> they have three mana. Let's dredge this and then cast the Stinkweed Imp. If they counter it, we can just dredge it again. Problem that I have is that I don't have red mana, so. Oh well. They only have blue mana, so they can't interact with my creatures at the moment, though. And after we cast Dread Return, we can sacrifice both of our Stinkweed Imps to return some creatures. And I think the plan versus this deck is probably just to go beat down. I'm not really sure. They Thought Scar themselves, milling Lorn, Lorn Revealed Mental Note. They Thought Scar again. Deep Analysis Brainstorm. It was actually a Mental Note, sorry. No Black Lands for our opponent. There's the Black Land. Okay. Um. Sure. Another Stinkweed Imp. Attack. So we still have a red land in the bat in the graveyard. I'm sorry. We still have red lands in our deck, so maybe I don't uh that's two stink weeds. We have one more here. Put in brainstorms. They're gonna thought scar again. They mental note. Milling, deep analysis, and archaeologist. Play an island. Looks like they're playing uh an angler here. Okay. Find my red land. Awesome. Play another stinkweed imp. Right, I'm going to attack. So if they attack, I can chump with the imp, kill their angler, put the imp back in the graveyard, dredge it, and then scrap work mutt, discarding it and discarding, drawing. So dredging even more. I'm trying to work up to the point where I have like multiple dread returns that will kill them without me having to do anything. Like I need to force through multiple counter spells. Right now they're just taking chip damage from our creatures. Okay. Swamp. It's Acorn Harvest. But we do have to worry about Spell Pierce. Forgot about that. So we have to play around Counter Spells and Spell Pierce. We're going to use Counter Spell. Okay. We will attack. Now you're at 9. The only thing they can do really is get a Lifelink Counter on their Gurmag. Okay, the Unexpected Fangs it. Then they're going to try to kill my Stinkweed Nymph. Okay, they're, they're attacking. Do you have a, some way to give it first strike? Block. Maybe they have Suffocating Fumes? Agony Worm. Okay. That's fine. We're just going to cast Knot of the Bone on end step. There's a Knot of the Bone. We gain a million life. And I'm going to return the Stinkweed Imp. Cast the Scrapwork Mutt. Discarding the Stinkweed Imp. Pick up the Stinkweed Imp. Do I have any other creatures? No. Let's cast the Stinkweed Imp. And then attack them. So we lose our Scrap Arc Mutt, but I'm close to the point where I can, I think, go off. We have one, two, Red Returns. Do I have any Giants? No Giants in the graveyard. I'm just worried about milling out, because they could potentially get there on me. We're going to play an Angler. Okay. They have four cards left in hand. If they deep analysis now, then I can probably go for the dread return stuff. But I still have to just block with the imp here. They have nothing. They just want the imp off the table. Okay. Four cards in hand. We will return a stinkweed imp. I'm going to attempt to dread return a lot with giant. Use a counter spell. I will acorn harvest. And I'm going to pass here. No attacks. I think I have them dead next turn, so we'll see what happens. They deep analysis down to 15. Cycles of Lorien revealed for an island. They're going to play the island. Five cards in hand. They could have two counter spells that deal with me. I have multiple Knot of the Bones. I'm going to stink weed imp. Okay, we find another acorn harvest. Harvest. And I have 
double red return. Let's put a scrap work mod onto the table. I am going to discard. I'm not going to dredge. I'm afraid of dying. Play a branchwood prowler. Oh, now I'm not playing around spell pierce. Dang it. And if they have suffocating fumes, I'm going to. That's also a problem. Dang. Get a swamp. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess I'm going to go for it. Go for the giant. This one. This one. This one. Dang it, they have spell pierce. Okay, I can't do the next one. All right, I messed up here. One. Two. I have two dread returns left. All right, unexpected fangs on the Thalarian Terror. I did this to myself. Put themselves to 12. You're going to go to 18 with the Terror. Get in. Okay. You take six, they go to 18. I have one mutt in the graveyard. It looks like I have one exhume left. So I'm not going to use the replacement effect. I've used two dread returns, I think. One dread return. Okay. How many left do we have? One, one, two, three. There's three dread returns in the graveyard. Okay, I guess we're going to go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're looking for another um, acorn harvest. Did the scrap work mutt. Discard the stinkweed imp. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm dread returning my giant. So they have double counterspell, I guess I die because I couldn't find a counterspell. Better return my giant again. I think I screwed this just by because I did not play around spell pierce there. All right. Dang. Okay. Let's play am I stinky? That's the turn. Dang. Alright. We'll see you in the next game that was unfortunate for sure do i care about anything from them right i guess the I guess the plan is to try to beat them down and then get the stinky dimps onto the table hmm all right i've been told that i should just resubmit so that's what i'm gonna do <sighs> i just need to put big creatures on the table hop in with my stinkies i guess I made mistakes there, for sure. I specifically pointed out that I need to beat all the counter spells plus the spell pierce, and I just played right into spell pierce. But we'll get there. Alright, let's do the best we can. Try to play around their infinite counter spells. Okay. Um, that's probably okay. We have double tap land, which is not great, but it's okay. Does this already have haste? No, only, on, only has haste when you unearth it. I play a contaminated aquifer, I play another tap land, play a land, holding up counterspell. Just gonna wayfinder here, looking for another land. They let it go. We find a swamp, sweet. Collect. Play the swamp. Pass. I wonder if we want to uh, get the imp on onto the table. Hmm. Okay, We're passing. Holding up Counterspell again. I guess, yes, I want to do that because I can discard it with the Scrapwork Mutt. Let's first cast a Wayfinder. Trying to find a land. No lands. Okay. Back for one. They have Thought Scar themselves. They have two mana available. Three mana. So they have Counterspell plus Spell Pierce. They have Spell Pierce in the graveyard. Find a Generous End. And Cycle. A forest. Play the forest. Play the scrap work mutt. I'm gonna discard the stinkweed imp and then return it. And tack. Next turn I think I'm probably gonna go scrap work mutt from hand plus acorn harvest. Put creatures on the table. Try to go wide and then overpower them with my dread return. We have a lot less giant in the graveyard. But they could Use a Rotten Reunion at any point now. They could easily have a Rotten Reunion. Right, we find Meyer Triton. Let's play Scrap Orc Mutt. And discard the Stinkweed Imp and return it. More Giants. 
All right. I think I want to play this uh, Mire Triton because it has Death Touch. Gain two life. We've gone very wide. Hopefully, they don't have suffocating fumes or arms of Adar. Send. A cycle of Lorien revealed. Plays a Talarian Terror. I think I'm going to lead on an Exhum because. Let's. I'm a little bit nervous about milling out now. Let's pick up the Stinkweed Imp. Cast Exhum. Counterspell. Okay. They have to have a second counterspell here. Let's attack with the Mire Triton. I guess I'm just going to Acorn Harvest. If they want to. Um, we have multiple of them. So if they want to spell pierce that, I think that's okay. Get the spell pierce out of their hand. All right, your turn. We have a lot of power. They fangs their terror. Sure. We have 19 cards in the graveyard, or 19 creatures. Getting in, plays an archaeologist. Up to two counter spells in hand. Those Gurmag cast down island. They could also use. They play an archaeologist again. Okay, we got them. Brainstorm, Rotten Reunion, Spell Pierce. They're dead now, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Another Acorn Harvest would be 8, 9. We have 1 Dread Return. If spell, spell Pierce mana. We have Double Mutt. Okay, so how am I going to do this? They put the Rotten Reunion into their hand. Okay. We have one, two, three Lawless Giants. And we have one, we only have one Dread Return in the graveyard. I guess I'm going to lead on Dread Return on the Lawless Giant. Cast the Rotten Reunion. Cast Dread Return on the Lawless Giant. We win. All right, phew. Submit. All right, we have no lands. Mulligan. Do it again. Well, again, one land, two lands. I'll keep this, get rid of Acorn Harvest and Knot of the Bone. Okay, we'll play a forest. Pass the turn. See what our opponent does. Plays an island. They're going to play Falaji Archaeologist. I'm going to cycle the troll for a, the dual land. And then see if I can draw an exhum, I guess. But they have a terror in the graveyard, so that would not be very good. Let's go land into Prowler. Grab a land. A force in hand. Plays a land. Let's play Mire Triton. You can also scrap work mutt and start dredging and stuff. They're gonna brainstorm. They're looking to maybe counter the Mire Triton because it has death touch. Okay. The mill two cards. Roll and dread return. All right, pass. No attacks. They mill Lorien Revealed Island off Mental Note. Holding up a Rotten Reunion. They could just Rotten Reunion the Dread Return right now. Like, I would I would Rotten Reunion the Dread Returns pretty aggressively if I were them. They have four, three Instants and Sorcerers in the Graveyard. They hard cast a Tolarian Terror. Okay. Is there anything I want to do right now? I can get back the Troll. I should think this through. So I'm thinking to myself, they gave me the opportunity to hard cast Dread Return. First, I'm definitely going to play the Forest. I don't want to hard cast Dread Return on anything. That kind of shuts me off of a couple of things. I can hard cast Dread Return on the Troll or on the Wayfinder. I feel like if I hard cast it on the Troll, that's kind of nice. Then I have a 6 5. That also has Super Menace. And they have to use a cast down on it. They can't use a snuff out. Let's get the troll back. And then I guess pass. Leaving up my death touch creature. They play a germ daddy. Okay. We have an exhum. That's funny. Uh, let's cast the exhum then. Counterspell. Okay. Wrap work mutt. I'm going to discard the stinky. And return it. And pass. Now I think I'm just going to put Stinkweed Imps onto the table. I'm trying to get enough land so I can just hard cast the giant, I think, at this point. They thought to guard themselves a few times. There's another Gurmag. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, we have multiple dread returns. We have the Lotleth Giant. All right, so let's get this scrap work mutt back. I'm gonna discard the Stinkweed Imp. Turn the Stinkweed Imp. And then dread return the Lotleth Giant. Sack, sack, and sack this one. So we are playing around Spell Pierce. Dome them for eight. Uh, play a land. What do we do here? Can I pass, I guess? End step, just nod the bone. Crap work mud is gone. But do I want to trade my lot with giant for their creature? Hmm. Not sure. Let's nod the bone. Not really doing anything else, and I had the mana available. No counterspell. Okay, return the Stinkweed Imp. Cast an Acorn Harvest. Play a Stinkweed Imp. Another uh, Death Touch blocker. Essentially. Play a counterspell. This does feel like we're pretty ahead right now. I'm going to start attacking with my Death Touchers. They suffocating fumes in response. Okay. Pass. I'm, they're trying to get me to get suckered into playing into a spell pierce. <laughs> not today. I'm not doing it. This is the turn. Find an acorn harvest. Let's play another stinky. I'm going to attack you. So I could scrap or discard an acorn harvest, but I don't, I don't think I want to do that. They fangs the terror. Okay. So they're looking to make this terror happen. They don't do anything. Interesting. All right. Well, I can scrap work mutt. And discard the acorn harvest. So I can use it. Play the land. Play the acorn harvest. I guess I'm going to lose my scrap work mutt here. Hmm. But I think they have rotten reunion. They might have rotten reunion. We have one dread return, two dread returns. So we can't beat Rot Re Rotten Reunion plus Counterspell. Attack. They're at 10. Let's try to Dread Return on the Troll. So this means that if they Rotten Reunion the Troll, that they're losing it on the other stuff. Okay. Maybe I should just look for multiple Stinkweeds and just do that. Or I could also Dread Return the Mire of Triton. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Need one more mana. The Rotten Reunion, the Dread Return. Okay. Kind of expected them to have Rotten Reunion in hand. They're passing. Find another Stinky. I can Scrap Work Mutt. Discarding the Knot of the Bone. And then just uh, gain some life. Draw some cards. Find a Mire Triton. Um, I'm going to play the Stinkweed Imp since it is the one that just comes back all the time. And attack you. Take two damage. They just scoop it up. Cool. We win. 2-0. Okay, let's go. We have lands. <laughs> we can Seder Wayfinder turn two. Turn three, exhume. Turn four, acorn harvest. We have a plan. Half land and then go. Bolhas 22, what are you playing? It's like burn. Burn confirmed. So we need to find a 5-7. <laughs> it's in. Play the Mire. Acorn Harvest looking a little bit worse now. We can play the Scrap Work Mutt, discarding maybe a Forest or an Acorn Harvest. Tomb Raider for the opponent. And yeah, we need to block her. It's in. But I'll discard this Forest. Find a Stinkweed Imp. So that can block. They bolt the mutt. We need to probably just go for the turbo mill, I guess. Bushwhacker. We're gonna die. I should have Wayfinder trying to look for a knot of the bone. We are at six. I Seder Wayfinder. I think I have to concede here. Maybe it's not over, I guess. I forgot that my plan was to try to get knot of the bones. Whoops. Synthesizer revealing a synthesizer. Another synth. Yeah, we're dead to Galvanic. Thank you. Now I can just scoop and not have to worry about it. <laughs> so we're going to trim on 
Acorn Harvest, and one of these. Bringing in the grudges. Let's see. Okay, so we're taking out six cards, bringing in four Drown and Sorrow, two grudges, and two Moments Beast. The plan is to board wipe them and try to nod at the bone at some point. And then put big fatties on the table and beat down. Okay, we're on the play this time. We're looking for Nod the Bones. Stuff to do. We have land, cycle, and exhum. Let's keep that. Keep a keep. We can't <laughs> this is this is the hand that uh Teasdale was joking about. That's the turn. Because we have exhum twice. We can exhum a troll and then exhum a generous end. Plus we have Meyer Triton for gaining life. This is crazy. They have a Voldaren Epicure. We're gonna cycle. Grabbing a basic swamp. My turn. Land. Exhum. OP. That was OP. We have a 6 5 on turn 2 versus a 1 1. Place the land. Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt. Okay. I think I would rather have the Generous Ent in play, to be honest. Find the wood line. Cycle this. Grab the forest. They wasted a bunch of resources. I just want my 5 7 because it's slightly bigger. Bigger butt. Okay. Donk. I got a 5-7 and, and a food token. <laughs> Sweet. I can scrap work mutt pitching the dread return. If I draw an untapped land and then I can mire triton. Then I can dread return from hand getting back troll or whatever. Mire triton can gain me some life. Plays a synthesizer. Finding a galvanic blast. Plays a land. Another epicure. And galvanic face. Okay, we're at 13 right now. Let's play, the, play this Prowler looking for an untapped land. And we whiffed. I'll play the ridge line and pass the turn. I think I need to block. I'm a little bit nervous here. My plan this current turn is to go, um, I guess we dredge the stinky. And then we're going to... Play the Meyer Triton and crack the food. We're at 13, so Bushwhacker, Koldotha might be lethal, and I'm really nervous about that. Play a Tomb Raider. Play a Blast Runner. Okay. We are going to dredge. We're looking for good stuff. We did not find good stuff. Play the Meyer Triton. Gain two life, go to 15. Then I'm going to... I'm at 15. So I think I would rather just have this blocker in play. Let's scrap work mutt. We're gonna discard the stinkweed imp. And then redredge it. Getting back. Okay, there's a knot of the bone. So we just have to survive a turn. We can gain 30 life. Oh, and I have another stinkweed imp that I can dredge. Looks pretty solid from here. Go tax. So we're looking to fade a relic at the moment. Opponent plays a tomb raider. No attacks. I'm gonna dredge. And then cast Knot of the Bone. Then I'm going to grudge their Synthesizer. No land. I just don't want them to draw cards. Let's see what they exile. Exile's an Epicure. So. <laughs> I think I still don't want to attack right now. But I'm getting to the point where I can attack. I can like swing in with the Scrap Arc Mutt. Plotless Giant will deal 11. So I might as well just dredge return it. Then I can like sacrifice it to dredge return something else. Red return, not dredge return. <laughs> play synthesizer, finding a great furnace, and plays a great furnace, and one card in hand still. Six mana. Do, 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 do. Get back my Lotleth Giant. Now I will attack you. Probably should have attacked first, to be honest. Block one card. Okay. I go to one. We've got the dread return in the graveyard. Hmm. I think we got them. They crack the synthesizer. Finding an implement of combustion. Their blast runner is a 3 2. They play the implement. Two cards in hand for the opponent. No attacks. Find a Meyer Triton. I'm going to play the Meyer Triton out. Then find. Nothing good, so I'm going to attack with everything. 
Any damage getting through kills them, so that they block every creature. Then I can scrap work mutt, dredging the stinkweed imp, and if I find a lot with giant, that's lethal. Setting up their blocks, blocking on the 5-7, blocking the scrap orc mutt, blocking the prowler, and probably just block with the tomb raider, I guess, at this point, so you have a 2-2 two -two vigilance. Or they're just gonna take lethal. They do, bro. They block, leaving their vigilance creature alive. Okay. And fire blast on that guy. Alright, so that kills the 5-7. All the other creatures trade. Let's scrap work mutt. Discard the imp. Return the imp. Couldn't find anything. We have one dread return. I think I can just pass. My scrap work mutt goes away. We have another one in hand. So if they end up having a relic this turn, we'll just cast a couple of stinkweed imps and attack. A cyclone implement of combustion. We have one stinkweed imp in the graveyard here, so we can dredge it and then scrap work about the other one, and then we should be able to just find a lot with giant. And our opponent's doing stuff. I haven't been paying that much attention, to be honest, because I'm so far ahead. <laughs> <coughs> okay, stinkweed. And did not find a guy. Let's mutt. Discard the stinkweed imp. Return it. Then another dread return. So, one dread return. Attack with everything, right? And then we have to block everything. Can't cast a dread return then. I'll just cast a stinkweed imp and attack with everything. Then in the team, my main concern here is decking out. That's basically it. Okay, they reckless impulse, finding a relic and a gal blast. There's a bunch of lot of giants in the bottom of our graveyard, but can't do anything about that. So no dredge. We're gonna go grudge. Try to exhume the scrap work mutt. Nah. Let's go grudge this. They respond. Then we just gnaw the bone for a million again and attack. I just let that happen. Okay. Um, do I want to do anything then? I have a dread return, but nothing else good. They have to use the galvanic to stay alive, so that's why they did not crack. Pack with everything. Kills the stinkweed imp. Kills their creature. We have a scrap working mutt. All right, let's go ahead and play another stinkweed imp. I guess I can see if I have a swamp. I did. Cool. Should have looked at what was left in the <laughs> in my deck. <laughs> they discard Bushwhacker, and we win. That was a pretty straightforward game. I think we can do that again. Now I now I remember now, I only have two Law of the Giants in the entire deck and two Dread Returns in the entire deck, so here I was waiting to draw a Dread Return. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see. I think we're going to put a Troll into play turn two again. Play Tomb Raider. Play a land past the turn. We're yielding until the next end step. They play another Tomb Raider. Get in for one. Okay. Plays a Chain Lightning. Alright, we're going to cycle this troll. Get a Swamp. Play the Swamp. Play... I'm going to zoom this right now. I'm going to play the Mire Triton. Gain two life. I think I would rather have the five... A 5-7. So, we have a Stinkweed Imp in the graveyard and a lot of the Giant in the graveyard. Kill my creature. Plays an Implement. It's in for 2. Okay. I can dredge this. Find a Gnaw the Bone. I'm going to cycle the Generous Ent. Grab a Forest. Play the Forest and exhume the Generous Ent. So we have a Food token now. We can gain 12 with Knot of the Bone from the graveyard or hand. It's going to be hard for them to get past my 5 7. So I think I just play the Wayfinder looking for a land. Probably want to cycle the troll too. Let's get some big creatures on the table with Knot of the Bone and slam through. 
Our opponent's pausing, so they might just be over it. We'll find out. Chain Lightning Face. We have another land. Go play the land. Go ahead and grab my um, red source. And then just nod of the bone. 21. Uh, no attacks yet. So I, in two turns, if I get a land off the Seder Wayfinder, then I can just start casting my troll. So I don't want to cycle the troll. They play a mountain. No attacks. Give it red return. Okay. I'm going to attack first. See what they do. No blocks. Okay. Play this Wayfinder. See what land I get. No lands. This bog. That's the turn. We have two cards in hand now. We might be able to get there. They're going to crack the implement. Okay. So there's, their creatures are one twos now. I still have the food token in play to gain some life. So I can use my mana this turn doing that. Please a land. Two cards in hand. They're bushwhacking. Okay. I think they're going to be dead now. So I will block here. That puts me to eight creatures in the graveyard. I have hard cast dread return. So, if I cycle this, get a swamp, then I can untap and scrap work mutt the stinkweed imp. Oh, we already had a stinkweed imp in the graveyard. All right, great. So, I think it's just going to be too free right now. Scrap work mutt. Dang it. I'm going to mutt the imp. Dredge some more. Okay. Dredge some more. Back for seven. And then go ahead and dread return my giant. Do -do 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 -do. Take 13 or 12. I mean, maybe they could have a fairy macabre. All right, you're dead. GG. On to round four. All right, we are in round number four versus Parallax. Don't need green mana, two exhumes. I think I have to mulligan this one. They are on Jeskai Ephemerate. It is known. Hmm. I'm probably okay. I can put back the knot of the bone, because that's not useful. Not Jeskai Ephemerate. They lead on Pajuka Bog. Oh, jeez. I don't have any idea what they're up to. Maybe they're playing um, some sort of, like, blue-black fey? Black? Straight-up black's deck. Okay, so they're on some sort of, like, mono-black or gardens. I should have not done that at that point. That was stupid. I gave them way more information than I needed to give them. That's why I always yield until next end step. Play the land, pass the turn. We don't have any of our um, our like things that put stuff into the graveyard, so that's not great. There's an acre wellspring. Let's cycle this for the red land. Okay, there's a prowler. We can start doing stuff now. Uh. Millenic Zoom. He casts a Thorn of the Black Rose. Okay. Let's play the Seder Wayfinder. Finding a forest. On. Okay, I think I picked it correctly. We have a Dread Return. I don't want to do anything with it right now. We have two Dread Returns in the graveyard. I probably should just mutt the Stinkweed Imp. Try to get more mutts in the graveyard. Okay, pick up the stink we did. We can try red returning the Mire Triton. And then that'll give me some more in the graveyard. Next turn I can play 3, 4, 5. You can also just mut dread return the troll. But then I'll be out of stuff to do. Alright, let's just attack. Kill my creature. Alright, my turn. Or your turn, I mean. I think Blade, my other creature. Okay. Deadly Dispute on the Wellspring. So at this point, it looks like I'm trying to get lands. We have a land drop right now. So I can dredge and then play a Stinkweed Imp. It's going to be hard for me to keep creatures onto the ta on the table for me to like actually play out. Land. Play the Stinkweed Imp. Pass. So if they don't kill this, then next turn I can... Um, Hmm. Play another one. They defile the Stinkweed Imp. 
feel like I just have to take natural draws trying to get lands here. They crack the Limbus. Okay. I mean, we're we're probably only cold to them picking up and replaying the Bajuka Bog at this point. It's in for one. And then they're not attacking because of the Scrapwork Mutt. Um, I'm not going to dredge it. Cancel. Try to draw a land. An Acorn Harvest. Let's cast the Acorn Harvest. Pass the turn. Fanatical Offerings, Sacrificing the Tithing Blade. Drawing two cards, making a map token. We certainly have a lot of lands in hand, uh, cards in hand. I could try to dread, dread return on, like, the Seder Wayfinder to try to draw get another land. Because if I can get to the point where I have the lands in play, I can hardcast a lot of the Giants. So that's probably a better play. Let's do that. Play out the Stinkweed Imp, Acorn Harvest. There's a Swamp. Plays a Blood Fountain. Okay, Trigger. Hmm. I guess I should dredge this here. We can mutt one of them. Play the Stinkweed Imp. Play another Acorn Harvest. Dredge return on the Lotleth Giant. Kill you 11. Come on, trying to collect my creatures. Really annoying. Dredge return on the Lotleth Giant. Come on, you can do this. Creature, creature, creature. So that'll be 12 or 11 damage base. And then I'm going to attack with my two creatures. Looks like they have removal spells. We're going to go up to 18 here with the Lambus. Just trying to cons trying to figure out how I can actually get this done. <laughs> it duress my knot of the bone. Plays a tithing blade, sac so I have to sacrifice a lot with giant. 12 creatures in the graveyard. I'm not going to use not going to use the Stinky Dimp this turn, I guess. Take a natural draw. Play the Stinky. I think it's probably unlikely that he's playing Bajuka Bog. So all I have to do is get up to seven lands and then play out my lot with the Giants. So I guess my plan is to just hang out until I get seven lands. And then at that point, I'll start judging. Play the Avenging Hunter. Okay. I feel like this is going to be a lot harder post-board than pre-board. They make a plant. Might as well get in. They don't get in. I'm gonna not dredge. Play a Mire Triton. Gain some life. I'll pass the turn. They defile the Mire Triton. All right. I'll just gnaw to the bone here. But we're currently at fifty-one. We have two more gnaw of the three more gnaw of the bones in the graveyard. I have sixteen creatures in my graveyard. I guess maybe it's worth using the scrapwork mutt. But I feel like I just need lands. Plays another Avenging Hunter. Okay. We go to 38. Probably not going to die this turn. They flip the Tithing Blade. So they're going to go to 19. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so there's only three more lands in the deck. All right, so we can now... Have the exhum. Prep work mutt. Discard a lot with giant. And then Stinkweed Imp. They are currently tapped out. They have a treasure token. Right now it's 19 damage. That's exhum. So it'll be 18. They cycle a troll. It's still 18 damage, I think. And they'll be dead. Oh. Okay. Deal you 19 damage. I did not see that coming. Played Necker Wellspring here. I'm gonna deadly dispute the Wellspring. We have eight cards in hand. Somehow we win. They just didn't have any more removal left, I guess, somehow. Cool, I'll take it. Seems fine. So we cast only one knot of the bone there, and it I think we definitely need a four grudge. Like a minimum. And then maybe a gnaw and two acorn harvests. Maybe just two Knot of the Bones. Let's see how this goes. Okay. I like this hand. We've got the Ancient Grudge. Let's keep... Hmm. But we don't have any ways... Maybe this hand was sketch. Play the Bog. Pass the turn. They play an Icker Wellspring. Give the land. 
or we can cycle generous ent or the other uh land that taps are red say go and then maybe cast the stinkweed imp and start attacking then i have to kill my stinkweed imp and then i can start dredging maybe i should stick hold on to the other stinkweed imp just in case they are gonna bring out the relics a fanatical offering the deadly to the wellspring plays a land rift rats maps the rat trying to get it bigger but that didn't work out for them we find a dread return um let's cycle the roll get the last tap land play that and then just go ahead and exhume the troll and attack for one so if they use the Crypt Rats and wipe, then I think I'm okay. I'm going to sacrifice my Stinkweed Imp here to the Tithing Blade. They play another Tithing Blade. Okay. We'll dredge the Stinkweed Imp. Find Dread Return. And just Dread Return the Lot of the Giant right now. That deals them 7. I'm going to do it. Alright, you're at 13. I have a 6-5. We play a Thorn of the Black Rose. Okay. We have six cards in the graveyard. So we can back with the Giant. And then I think we can replay it. Maybe not. Because they will wipe the board. Let's play Meyer Triton. And... Hmm. Did I pass? I should just play two Meyer Tritons out probably. They have a colony garden. I can just hard cast the acorn harvest. And I have an exhume. Okay. Um, this step one, I'm attacking. The creature lives. They deadly dispute their plant. I'm gonna scrap work mutt on the stinkweed imp. Seeing if we can get to 17. Discard the stinkweed imp. Grand stinkweed imp. 13. I will exhume my lot of giant. I have three giants in the graveyard. They crypt rats. So they're dead? I chose the Lolith giant, I think. I might have misclicked on the Myra Triton. That would be pretty terrible. I guess they're going to bring back the crypt rats? Don't understand. Are you dead? Oh, weather the storm. Okay. We go to eight. We have a six five in play. Not having, I mean, I <laughs> I don't play decks that have to die to weather the storm usually. My bad. They Lembus. They're looking for a tithing blade of some kind. They go top. Finds a blood fountain. They could weather the storm again. Right now we have enough to cast another lot of giant from the graveyard as long as Crypt Rats is not on the table because we could just acorn harvest into the lot of giant. Actually, we could just do that right now. But they'd have to not have a removal spell. I think I'm going to attack. They're blocking. Okay. The deadly dispute the rat. All right. Let's go Seder Wayfinder. Darn. I'm going to scrap work mutt. They kill my Lolith giant. Okay. Let's discard the stinky in anyway and dredge some. And they're going to weather the storm again. So maybe they don't have relics. There's a wellspring. I know they're at 16. There's another crypt rats. Bajukabog. How many lot of giants have I lost? Probably all of them, huh? Alright, I think I should concede. One, three, four. Play my Meyer Triton out. Go ahead and attack with my 1-1. One, one. Kill my creatures. Play Stinkweed Imp. I'll go ahead and look through my graveyard. Or one, two, three, four. That's all my law of giants. So the only way for me to win the game is to somehow get back all my big creatures. And I don't know if I have any big creatures left. Let's look. One troll, two, three, four, five. So I have three big creatures left. There's an avenging hunter. Okay. I guess maybe they're sandbagging that. Bring back the stinky. Play the acorn harvest. I'm just gonna scoop. I don't feel like I can win here. There's gotta have been a better way for me to get through this game. 
think just getting big creatures onto the table is maybe better. I don't know if Acorn Harvest is any good. They have the board wipes and stuff. That's probably fine the way it is. I felt like there was a moment there that I could have gotten it done, but I just didn't. So, can't keep this. What do we have? Guess I can keep this. Put back Knot of the Bone. Play a land. Land. Pass the turn. I'm just going to try to get big creatures on the table, I guess, and then see what we can do. Let's cycle this. Scrap work mutt. Okay. I can play the mutt and discard the knot of the bone. Finding a Meyer Triton. So I'm adding to the board. I don't want to overextend because there could be a Crypt Rats. They miss a land drop. I'm going to Branchwood Prowler. Did not find any lands. I'm going to attack. I have four power on the table. Second land for the opponent. Goes for Lembus. I can grudge the Lembus, but it doesn't really do anything. Let's scrap work mutt, pitching Stinkweed Imp, turning it. Out of the bone, Meyer Triton, troll, play in my. Well, I guess maybe I should. I think I still want to play the Meyer Triton out this turn because I can attack for eight next turn, or six. Attack for six. And then I'm going to not dredge. No replacement effect. Okay, let's attack. They don't do anything. I dredge return in hand. Dread return in hand. I keep saying dredge return. <laughs> Pass. Six creature cards in the graveyard. They cycle a troll of Kaza Doom. Finding their green source. Deadly dispute on the Lembus. Finding another green land. Playing Lembus. My expectation is that they have a Weather of the Storm in hand. Plays a land. Plays Weather of the Storm. So if we can dredge a Lotleth Giant, we can win here. Found it. Alright, GG. Alright, GG. See you in round five. Round five. Let's go. We're on the play. We have no land, so we're gonna mulligan. We have one land, one generous end. I think this is probably a keep. Question is whether or not we want to put back the knot of the bone. I think in the format, we probably want to keep this and put back the scrap work mutt. Play the ridge line. Pass the turn. Because the knot of the bone might be really important. And we can cycle, and that will shuffle our deck, so it won't change too much. They're on they're on affinity. We're gonna force cycle. So not of the bone is going to be important. Grabbing my other app land. And go. If I get a land off the top, I think I'm just going to cast the exhume. Plays a Thraven Inspector. I think having a 5-7 is probably good. Uh, maybe I should I should save the exhumes because I should just try to dredge hard into a lot of giant and exhume them up. That's better. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh... Seder Wayfinder, which is the most likely to get me a land because it looks four deep. The bog. Okay, here we go. Right now, if they glitters the Thraven, we have the Knot of the Bone. I mean, what I would like to do is go Branchwood Prowler or Blanchwood Prowler, finding a land, play Meyer Triton, and then I have enough on the table. Then I'm going to hopefully find some dredge stuff. Tapping for white. Okay. Plays a Thoughtcast. Ringleaf Drum again. They have five artifacts on the table, but they can't cast a Mirror Enforcer. If they do nothing, that kind of indicates to me they have Mirror Enforcers. We also have to play around Metallic Rebukes. All right, I'm going to go for the Prowler. They're going to rebuke that. That makes sense. I'm going to attack. Then I think I'm going to exhume the... the... Oh, I should have blocked with the Seder Wayfinder and exhumed it. There's a course Sky Fisher. What? Or Skyfisher. Okay, so they're on a very more mid-range deck. Plays a Thraven Inspector. I should just be trying to turbo mill myself. They decide not to attack. Odd. Data Wayfinder. Another counterspell. They do. 
I mean, you'll note that if your opponent has Metallic Rebuke, they feel like they really have to use it ASAP because otherwise they won't get value out of it. So they almost always just slam it immediately. So if you don't see them slam it immediately, they don't have it in hand. Maybe that's a next level play is to keep it in hand. Glitters on the Core Skyfisher. A lot of damage. Going to attack you. Out of the bone. Jeez, okay. Um, We want the grudges, right? I think we're just going to grudge for the acorn harvest and go turbo mill. And try to exhume. Okay. Close. Mulligan. Alright, this is pretty good. We can put back one gnaw. Play the generous end and cycle for the red green land. Passing the turn. Play a regular basic into a novice inspector. Or not a regular basic, a non bridge artifact land is what I meant. Okay, play this. Pass. I'm gonna go after their lands. Try to set them back a little bit. Play a planes. Spring leaf drum. Ginger brute. Decides to hold open metallic rebuke. Land pass. Okay. Getting in four six. Will Ancient Grudge the Springleaf Drum so they can't cast Metallic Rebuke now. And that will only get hit for five. Then on my turn, I'm going to play a Blanchwood Prowler. See what happens. I would also probably like to destroy their Ancient Den to put them back on mana. We take five. The Prowlers can just block this all day and adds to my value. I can also just exhume right now and kill this. I don't think Exhum does that much though. Play the Prowler. Finding a forest. Let's just blow up your artifact land. Pass the turn. We're gonna get in for four. We'll block. Maybe that's not great because it doesn't help with the dread return dread returns. Have the dread return. Um let's play the prowler. Get this. I land. I'm gonna exhume my troll. I could also exhume the Generous Ent. Or I could exhume the Prowler. Let's exhume the Prowler. I saw somebody doing this where they're just like going turbo milling. Find another Grudge. Okay. No, no attacks from our opponent. We can hard cast the Generous Ent now. Probably worth it. And pass the turn. Opponent plays a Thraben Inspector. Our novice Inspector is now a 5-6. All right, I'm going to attack with my Generous Ent. We're just going to take it. Red return the troll. All right, your turn. Them getting stuck on mana was pretty much what I needed here. Take out their blue source so they can't draw cards, and we win the game. This is for all the marbles. Let's do it. This is a very strange hand because we don't have black mana. We have one Seder Wayfinder. No way to make the ancient grudge work. You have these things. One is keeping seven. Do I think this is reliable? We have a turn two Seder Wayfinder. I guess that's what we wanted. I'm going to keep this and spec and then see if everybody tells me this was a terrible, terrible keep. Our opponent keeps a dark steel, no, nothing else. Second Seder Wayfinder can help me dig for lands. If I can, uh, Mill a scrapwork mutt. I can't do anything about it. Doesn't work. Holding up metallic rebuke apparently. Just playing into it. When it's uh, feeling pretty confident with their metallic rebukes. Okay. It's nice as a stinkweed. I actually could block a glittered creature pretty well. They're gonna get in and ninja. I am desperately looking for a land that can produce red. They have another metallic rebuke in hand. That's really annoying. But we're going to die to that for sure. I guess, best case scenario, we draw a cycler of one mine for the opponent. Well, you know what? We had a good run. I'm not, I'm not too worried. Uh, they did have double metallic rebuke for some reason in their opening hand, plus the ninja. They should have just gone ornithopter turn one with the see the synod. Okay. Let's see what we draw. 
Maybe I could get there if I draw an untapped black source. Like, block the ninja. Replays the ornithopter. Plays the Tormod's Crypt. Frogmite. We're going to cycle for the red-green land. We can take out two artifacts, but we're taking six, seven, and then five. Or four, so seven plus four. I'm just going to scoop it up. That was not... Clearly not where I wanted to be. I should have kept a hand with two colors, which unfortunate end to the sick league. I mean, we did really well. Did not expect to do that well. So this deck is very strong. I wanted that trophy, but we didn't get there. That's fine. If you're interested in playing a graveyardy mid-range combo deck, definitely check out Dredge. The place was, it was sweet, and we'll see you in the next video.